fine, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. So, let's start this session with your introduction. Can you please tell me uh, about your work and how did you start your uh, work, like doing illustration and what do you think of before that? Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I started out uh, early, I really didn't know what I was supposed to, to become. Uh, I always thought that I wanted to be uh, some kind of artist, but uh, I, no one was not uh, seen as a viable uh, career path in Sweden. So everyone said you should get uh, become an engineer instead and you will always uh, be able to earn money. So I started to study uh, to become uh, an engineer, but soon found out that I didn't really enjoy it. And then I worked a couple of years, uh, some odd jobs uh, before I started to study architecture. Uh, and then I found out I didn't really think that that was uh, the perfect uh, fit for me as well. So I uh, switched over to uh, graphic design and I got a master's in uh, graphic design. And then uh, I worked with computer games for uh, 3D animation for 10 years uh, until I felt that I was too old for the business and I didn't really get uh, any good... Uh, it wasn't just that good. Uh, I didn't get my artistic uh, feeling for it. it. I ended up doing more and more prog programming and I kind of enjoyed that. But uh, in uh, 2006, I started to blog uh, my illustrations, my drawings, and, uh, and I just kept doing that. And uh, very soon I got uh, uh, commission work from that and I uh, just quit uh, working in the game industry. And since then, uh, 2007, I've been a freelance illustrator. Uh, in the beginning, I took on uh, every commission piece I could, could get, but still kept doing my, my personal uh, drawing on the side. Uh, more or less every day I've been posting. First on just my blog, but then uh, when I, like other stuff came up, Facebook and uh, Instagram, I just uh, added my portfolio and kept posting. and. Uh, so I've been doing commission work all over the world and I've been able to travel uh, doing workshops and like uh, art festivals and stuff like that. And now it's more like I don't really need to take on commission work. I can more or less uh, sustain my, myself just with my personal uh, drawings and, on, and royalties. So I uh, seldom take on commission pieces so I've been very lucky in my career that it's been possible also uh, coming from a very small country with a very small uh, like art industry uh, in Sweden it's very small uh, but I've been able to work with like uh, Disney and uh, animation studios almost every animation studio in, uh, in the US and uh, like uh, commission work from New York uh, New York Times and and Google and IBM, so um, I've been extremely lucky in my career, and it's um, uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> That's really awesome. Uh, I have seen your work. It's more like doodling, right? Um, doodling in terms of illustrative illustrations. No, it's uh, I do uh, full full. I work just with traditional media, but it's not uh, it's not just doodles. What kind of medium is this? Can you please? Uh, uh, no, I work mainly uh, just with uh, like uh, ink and watercolors, and then I scan it, and uh, that's it. I worked so long with the computer, so I, uh, I it was never an option uh, for me to continue working with computers. So, have you not tried to uh, like you? Ha you are doing your uh, illustrations in ink and watercolor. So have you not tried to put them in digital form, like use any no. computer medium? No, 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 I, I don't enjoy it. And uh, uh, I, I think that uh, a lot of the digital art, uh, there's, I, I understand that it's lots of uh, advantages to working uh, digital, but it's like you get it uh, like a timestamp on it. This is made in, in 
five years ago and uh, if you work with the traditional media it's much more timeless I think and uh, uh, now it doesn't really uh, doesn't suit me at all. Mm -hmm. So that's why you pursued with the uh, Inca Waterbury. So what did what did inspired you the most uh, for doing these type of illustrations? Doing men. No, it's a it's the stuff that I grew up with. I, I read a lot of like European, uh, like the Moomins, uh, French comics. Um, and there was a lot of uh, ink, ink stuff. The thing that I read as a child. So that's why where I'm coming from. And uh, I just thought that uh, that was uh, the way. If you want to be an artist, that's the media you should choose. And. I found that it uh, suited me perfectly, and I can never, never look back. Okay, so, so uh, did anything uh, like you got inspiration from comics? What are the other medium you work on um, besides ink and watercolor? When you started uh, learning graphic design, have you learned this art uh, by going to school or by yourself? No, I, I learned it by myself, and uh, when I uh, went to uh, it was just graphic design, it was very little, almost no illustration. But uh, I got very fascinated by 3D modeling and 3D animation when I was at uh, the university. And uh, my thesis work was picked up a game uh, company, and so we made it into a, into a, a computer game. Uh, so that's what I've been during my time in the game industry. I just worked with 3D uh, modeling and animation. I didn't do any. Going uh, whatsoever for maybe 10 years. Mm. So you are working on these ideas. Um, how how can you uh, get these ideas to work on different types of illustrations? Like I've seen your work, and you have uh, you are making different comics, I guess, and different styles. And those uh, illustrations, if I say those uh, them illustrations, they're mostly uh, they reflect real life scenarios based on real life activities. How did you come up with the ideas and the characters you are drawing? They are so unique and so different. Each character is so different. Yeah, I don't really work with uh, like uh, ideas. Uh, I just sit down and, and start drawing just the way I did when I was a child. So I have no plans and uh, uh, that's why I find it difficult to do commission because then you have to do a pencil sketch and uh, think a little forward but I, I prefer not to have any ideas and whatever comes to my mind it ends up on the paper so it's more um, I don't really think at all when I do my, my drawing so it's more like uh, something that just uh, happens it's quite difficult to explain but uh, I, there's no method no. to it okay, it's, it means like uh, you enjoy doing your work and um you come up with the characters in your mind or do you uh, look for other uh, like many people or many designers or artists they uh, at the start of their career they look at their uh, they find different references to uh, look for and uh, they find different ideas or they go for different ideas or search different things to like come uh, come up with new things so you don't do these things right no uh, i i get uh... The most ideas I get when, I, when I'm able to travel, because that, then it's so much uh, uh, visual uh, stimulus. But uh, I, I don't look, uh, I don't need uh, uh, reference or anything when I do my my, my drawings, uh, apart from doing those commission pieces. But uh, it's um, I spent so much time watching stuff, so I don't really need to check out. And I, I don't really when I do if I. If I want to draw, for example, a motorcycle, I don't, uh, I don't really know exactly how it looks, but I do it my way, and it turns into something maybe more interesting. If I check out uh, like reference, it's more or less like a copy of, uh, of uh, reality. I prefer it to be my reality. So, uh, and I've been lucky that it's been so popular that I've been able to to uh, continue doing it. Uh, and a lot of the commission works I get asked to do is made. They know exactly what I do, and they want that thing. So they, I don't need to change my, my kind of uh, method for most of the time. Uh, 
It's uh, for me. It's like uh, the actual process of drawing is so much. Uh, it's uh, such a nice feeling. It's uh, uh, when I draw, it fills me with so much happiness and uh, good energy. Uh, so the process is uh, so easy for me. The only thing I really want to do is draw, and the more I draw, the better you get at it, and the easier it becomes. And uh, and uh, if you're not that, uh, a lot of people ask me, are you not afraid of making errors? But it's like, uh, you, there are not, not uh, this is my drawing and if, if it's filled with errors, so so that's the drawing. So uh, that's just the way I, I, I do, do it. And I can't, uh, I can't explain, explain it, but uh, that's just the way I work. So how often do you draw? Like make your work? No. no, it's more like uh, how often do you not draw? It's uh, if I have to make food or have to take a walk, then I don't draw. But uh, all the other times I, I draw more or less. I guess it's uh, nowadays I kind of tend to draw a little less. But uh, when it was uh, maybe it, it's. 10 hours each day, but maybe now it's 3 4 hours because it's lots of uh, when you reach a certain level, it's so much other stuff that it has to be uh, administrated, answering mails and stuff like that, and you have to plan stuff. So uh, that's also when I, when I travel, I can uh, travel, uh, draw much more, so I really enjoy it. And I don't have to do all the administration stuff. <clears throat> so like uh, your art pieces or your artwork, they are uh, so detailed. Like, there is so much detail in them. How uh, how much time it will take to uh, complete a project in each time? It depends. Uh, anything from uh, some pieces are more less complicated, but it's uh, uh, at most maybe 100 hours for larger pieces. Um, but it's like uh, I don't time anything so it goes pretty quickly because I don't need to do a pencil sketch I just draw it directly uh, so um, everything from uh, 10 minutes to 100 hours I would say have you ever worked with a team like are you work alone in this team no a lot of commission works I work in teams like if you work with uh, animation industry you're a, you're part of the team but it's most of the time when I work like in, uh, in animation it's very early in, in productions and uh, they want to uh, input input what uh, what the project might work with so I'm mostly on my own uh, on some occasion I've been traveling to studios and worked, but very seldom so most of the time I work completely on my own and uh, if I got commission from magazines uh, the, the turnaround for the creative illustrations are so short and three four days so um, maybe the sketching is uh, two or three times and then I have to do it on my own so mostly I work alone and that's also one thing with uh, the great thing with uh, traveling is meeting other artists and it's uh, uh, that's so uh, you travel for the uh, like business sake or for the learning ideas uh, to meet other artists or you just uh, go and relax for the travel? No, it's uh, most of the time I'm, I'm invited some, somewhere and it's always uh, I have to do something. So um, it might be a signing session or a workshop or sitting in a panel and uh, but it's always a lot of time uh, meet, meeting other artists and it's, uh, I always feel like you are more uh, akin to other artists, whatever you are, than the, the people that live in your own country. So it's, uh, you get an instant uh, like connection when meeting other artists. It's really super enjoyable to, to uh, meet other people. Uh, I'm not sure that I answered your question. but. <laughs> Yeah, this is that's great. You really answered my question. Yeah. Okay, um, 
you are working with uh, like you have done commercial works or other you have done work of your own and now your work is so popular i fancy so have you done any client work like clients are asking for something like for animations or illustration for their uh, company or their organizations accordingly so what type of work client mostly asks for you uh i've been doing uh, now I, the most money i at the moment i get from uh, a company that makes uh, uh, baby blankets and baby clothes in, in france uh, and that's i make so much money from that that i don't really need anything uh, else but i also sell like originals and prints and stuff like that but, uh, in that case they have a, a concept uh, and they want uh, a show maybe <laughs> like uh, this I make for them uh, then they have maybe a, some kind of concept that they want like a Chinese type of uh, blanket and uh, we discuss a little and then, then I do it on my own uh, but um, other work is like uh, I, I done a lot of record sleep for an American band called Dance Gavin Dance, and they also they just give me a lot short little story. Uh, this is what we want, and then I do a sketch. And, and everything is done by by mail uh, or maybe a Zoom meeting, but very seldom. So um, and almost from the start, I work mainly. That much in, in, in your own country, so it's a it's it's a good good thing if you are able to speak and uh, write good English. I guess. Yeah. So as uh, the artwork you uh, just showed me, it's on the fabric, right? You have done uh, ink and watercolor on fabric, or is another medium you have used? No. Yeah. The the actual uh, drawings are more. Uh, they are made on paper like this. So this was for a, 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 this company as well. So I, I do the actual drawing and then I just scan it and uh, send it send it uh, over to, 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 the, to France. I guess. Mm -hmm. So this is really great work like you have done. Uh, you have targeted the international market. So how do you think the international market impacts for the artist? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a great opportunity for artists living anywhere. But at the same time, uh, you have uh, much more like competition. <laughs> so it's uh, if you're able to. Uh, for me, I, I I when I started doing my drawings, I I didn't have a inclination that I could make a living like this. For the Swedish market, they said maybe you can work with children books. That's it. Uh, but like having a international career was like uh, impossible. And uh, prior to like the internet, they said if you want to have an international career in America, you had to move to New York. But now it's possible to to reach out to uh, to the world. But it's also uh, and I think I was lucky because. In the beginning, there wasn't that many artists posting stuff online. Uh, like I think I, I started in 2006 posting stuff, but now I think it's it might be more difficult to, to reach out because so many artists are out on Instagram and, and now TikTok as well. So it's, it's become harder, but it's still possible if you are able to find something. That's, Your own uh, style, yeah. Come up yeah. with thing, yeah. Come, come with innovation. Uh, uh, do uh, do the things by your own side. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there are many, uh, as in I am an institute. Like this is the Institute of Arts and Designing, where we teach fine arts course with uh, graphic designing and other designing courses. So uh, what do you think, like students? I'm also a student of graphic designing. I have done graphic designing and. Uh, what do you think? Like, what uh, what are the factors that can uh, help me to uh, to go peak, uh, go to peak in my career, like to start my career as a great artist? 
Uh, it's very difficult to to predict uh, to 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 give advice because uh, I started my career uh, well, 16 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, and uh, there's so much new stuff that's happening. So uh, that I don't really know. You probably have to do it completely different. But, uh, for me, it was uh, important to have this always my own creativity on the side because uh, you just have to find enough people to that enjoys your art, and that can be in in your own town. You can live perfectly good as an artist just in your own hometown. You don't need to reach out and, and, uh, and uh, for the whole world. I don't think it's. Uh, you can work locally and make a good living, but it's it's uh, it's really difficult to, to give advice because my situation was so. If I had asked someone uh, when I started doing my stuff, should I quit my uh, good salary in the game industry and uh, make a living from this uh, stupid silly doodles? The answer should be no, don't do it. So sometimes you have to uh, follow your gut instincts uh, and don't listen to uh, advice from old men. So. <laughs> it is difficult. I, 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 I don't, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. You have to understand that like, uh, you're mostly into like do your own stuff. Like, yeah. But are uh, your things, but your style is. Take your style and go on with that. Carry uh, carry on with your career with your style, right? Yeah, but I was uh, just try to uh, keep uh, be uh, curious about new stuff and don't look too much of uh, the thing that uh, that is in uh, that is super popular at the moment. You should try to find your own uh, own voice and uh, also try to study other stuff, not just art, uh, but. Uh, most of the exciting stuff happens when you kind of uh, use a brain and the combination with art. So, like, learn history and philosophy and stuff like that as well, I guess. Okay, so uh, let's move, to, move on to your work you have done so far. What, what kind of job or what kind of artwork you have done so far that uh, you think is the most challenging work I have done in your, you have done in your career? Uh, it's, it's quite difficult to say uh, because everything is, um, at some part, every new commission I get it's like uh, I don't really know. It's uh, it's like it's, it's stairs. So it's uh, you do something and you don't really think about it, or something it's you don't think about it. So it's like constantly small steps. So it's no thing have been more difficult than the other. I guess it's just. Um, and also, it's like you, you you do something and then you kind of forget it. Uh, so, um, I, I in the beginning it was really touch and go making it happen, like financially, because uh, each year you you kind of when I when when I did the bookkeeping, it was like oh, if I hadn't done that commission, I wouldn't be able to, to survive. So, it's like a, a constant. Uh, scare of not making it the, the, maybe the first four or five years and you kind of forget it when you when you reach a certain level but it, it wasn't easy in the beginning so I think a, a good practice might be to have the, I I quit my job on the day and uh, but if I would have done it if I had thought about it, I would probably, a good thing would be to work 50% on my own work, but uh, at the same time, it was something I needed to do, just kind of uh, letting everything go and make the gamble, and it kind of paid off, but it's, uh, in the beginning it was quite difficult to, to, to uh, 
make it work, but it's... Because uh, you have set priorities, you have set your own thing, on your own creative side um, in front, instead of your job. Yeah, because uh, I think this is a good thing because uh, in new generation you see this thing is lacking because many artists are there they are uh, looking for a good job but they don't like doing the stuff in that uh, that uh, in in their job descriptions are doing in their job in their job so I guess uh, your strategy is very uh, like motivating or encouraging in a sense that keep your own thing and. Don't do stuff if you don't like it. Yeah. You know, many uh, the new generation or new artists must know about this thing. So I know you have um, the, like illustrated in comic side. You have designed comics. Not as such. More. Uh, um, I I produced a lot of books, but it's more like. Uh, taken from the stuff I constantly do. There are some small stories, but I never produce uh, like full-fledged uh, uh, comics. And it's also, uh, <laughs> being a comic artist is uh, very difficult uh, financially. It's like uh, even the best comic artists don't really earn much money. So uh, for me, it's worked better just to produce all the drawings I do and then can collect it and it, uh, I can I go to a lot of comic festivals and it kind of works anyway. Uh, but it's like uh, uh, and a lot of comic artists they make the most money by selling like the original drawings from their comics. So it's uh, I, I think it's uh, I, I love comics. So it's uh, I'm happy that some people still do it. But it's really really it's not a good career, I guess. Mm, yeah. You can say because you know you know much better about the career because you have spent a lot of time in this. And you know what are the advantages and uh, cons of this thing. So, um, have you ever? Uh, does it ever happen to you like creative block? Like many artists, they come up with the creative block and they can't think of anything. It's like uh, I would say that each morning I have a like a small. A creative block and I, I think oh I can't draw so it's uh, and I think that feeling kind of uh, helps me not to <laughs> think that highly of myself it's always uh, you're always a little humble uh, but I tend to because I enjoy the actual process I can just sit and do a little like a small if I feel completely blocked I can just do a little self-portrait and then it kind of uh, starts again. And, and it's also, uh, for me, it's like uh, just revisiting a, a, an old drawing I've done and make it into a new drawing. So for me, it's... Uh, I have no, not had uh, any like creative blocks at more than maybe a couple of days. So, uh, but it's a, it's a constant thought. That, help I can't go so it's, it, it kind of helps me to constantly <laughs> doing stuff I guess yeah um, as per uh, you said like self portraits so I have seen uh, some of your illustrations and uh, I just think of it like you have drawn yourself you have yeah. put yourself in a picture doing yeah. different stuff like routine works or routine chores or something so yeah yeah, it's, it's kind of the, the thought that I have, uh, that it is like uh, my, I have my, my life uh, in reality and I also have my life in my drawings and it keeps, kind of helps uh, keeping every drawing into uh, this universe and also it's a small story that goes past all of my drawings, but it's, uh, I don't really like draw it, it's just small insights, so for me it's, uh, it, it helps me very good, very nicely when I don't really have anything that I can draw. I can just start drawing me and then I can just add from that part. So uh, you have made series of your, uh, like doing the, if I talk about a day, doing different things, it's a series of your day. Yeah. Uh, just a random stuff. What did you say? 
I said, uh, you have uh, done self-portraits and you yeah. have different uh, things, you have illustrated them. It's a series yeah. of doing work or a series of a day, doing work in a day, or just a random thing you are doing or when you are, you, whenever you travel, you just illustrate that or you have made a series of your things. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's just uh, those kind of, uh, especially when I, I travel, it's then the drawings turn into more like a, a, a diary. Uh, but also, uh, I kind of exaggerate stuff and uh, my mind kind of uh, thinks what would happen if I do this. So it's, uh, it's, um, it's uh, like a diary, but with some extra things yeah. added because I, I I enjoy to kind of uh, tell jokes and uh, most of my, my drawings are in some sense uh, a little like, like jokes that uh, you have to like search for the punchline yourself. Okay, so <clears throat> may I know uh, what type of things in your career you, uh, like doing your uh, artwork and doing things are so far. What have you learned? Like some of the major things you have learned very much. Um, what have I learned? Um, I guess I've learned so much. Um, But I'm not sure what I have been learning. It's like uh, the fact that it's. I think I'm, I've been helped by. I worked so many years in those in the game industry, and uh, I learned so much working in teams and like big projects. Uh, so most of that I already know when I started doing illustrations. I knew more or less how everything, like project-wise this will take this amount of time someone will look at it on the other side so a lot of stuff I already knew from uh, working so many years in, in, uh, in games and with animation uh, so it's jeez uh, I can't remember why I'm not, not sure what I've learned it's like uh, it is a lot but it's really hard to, to, <laughs> to say exactly what it is. But it's like uh, the, 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 the thing is, uh, like most, if you work with agencies or magazines, they work more or less the same way all over the world. Uh, if, uh, if they are English speaking anyway. So it is possible to, uh, But uh, other than that, I don't, I'm not sure that I've learned anything. <laughs> I started doing doodles and I still do it so. So, okay. so uh, you teach uh, other people like, doing illustration, right? Yeah, I do. I do workshops, but I'm not a teacher, and I find it really difficult because I find it so hard to kind of uh, explain. Uh, how I do it because yeah. it's just something that I do. But I've uh, done a lot of teaching anyway, but I'm not sure. So uh, in workshops, mainly you, what do you, what do you uh, like train in workshops? Or what do you I do? think I teach more or less uh, the, the, to get into that creative thinking uh, more, don't really, <laughs> don't take it so seriously uh, remember that you, maybe just uh, uh, freeing your inner child more that that kind of thing so it's more uh, more in kind of finding that creative spark in you more than uh, this is how you do uh, the composition and stuff like that because I don't I don't work that way at all uh, so it's more 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 of uh, find the, the creative spark, I guess. That's 
Okay, so you do care in your work, like it's a freestyle, I guess. So you yeah. do care of compositions and layout of the images. No, I don't plan. No, no plan. Is it random? No, I, I don't. I I can't even. Uh, what I didn't study, I don't really know any theories about composition. And I'm uh, a little bit colorblind, so I find coloring difficult also, and it's very hard for me to, to kind of. Uh, and I get a lot of questions about how I do stuff like uh, drawing stuff in, in the like forward yeah. and backwards, but I don't know. I just do it, so it's very difficult. And I sometimes I try, I must sit, sit and really thought, think about how I do it. But it's it's just if you do something enough time, it's, at a certain you point. You have practiced so much, and you know how to place the things. Right. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think about it. It's just something that happens. So it's for me, it's it's difficult to. Uh, there is uh, there is no like secrets to my my method. It's just uh, <laughs> just happens. Okay, so that's really great. Thank you so much. I I really like learned so far like how to do things with my style and how to pursue things with my own self. So you don't, you can say like you can teach me or I haven't learned anything, but I have learned so far from your work and your journey. It's a really positive approach, yeah, to yeah, okay. myself. Thank you so much for taking your time and, and yeah. giving me so much ideas. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.